Hello, today I have a video for you demonstrating the replacement of the parking brake cable on a 2002 to 2005 Honda Civic Si. This job should take you about an hour to two hours to complete depending on the conditions on the vehicle. In my case it took a little longer because the parking brake cable was frozen or rusted solid to the uh, bracket on the back of the caliper. And in this video I'll demonstrate how I solve that. First we're going to remove two screws that are located on either side of the center console. They should be Phillips head screw and come out relatively easily. Once those are out you should be able to lift off the center console like so. Underneath you'll expose the parking brake cables and the tensioning assembly for the parking brake cables. As you can see in this video, the parking brake cable for the passenger side is disconnected and I did that because the cable had seized uh, to itself inside the sheath and I disconnected it to keep the rear caliper from hanging up. To remove the cable is pretty simple. You basically have to twist the cable so it slides out of that eyelet. Um, I already had taken mine out, um, but as you can see, it would just bend and then slide into place. Uh, if it's difficult to get out, you can loosen the 10 millimeter nut on the end of this adjustment screw, and if you back it off, it will release the tension on that cable, allowing you to bend it and slide it out of place. For replacement purposes, we're just going to loosen this as much as we can and give it as much slack as possible just to make it easier for sliding the new cable into place. The next thing you're going to want to take off is the bracket holding the ends of the cable. Uh, those are 12 millimeter, I believe. There's two of those bolts. Once you have those out, you can go ahead and pull off that bracket to release the cables from the uh, body of the car, at least on the inside. Now would be a good time to remove the wheel. The lug nuts are typically uh, 19 millimeter, and, you know, unless you got something special on there. And we're going to speed this up because everybody knows how to do this. So, yeah. This one is undisconnected because it is seized up in the sheath. So if it was left hooked up, it would constantly apply the parking brake. So I left it disconnected. You need to release your cable. You can press on it right here with a pry bar. Just like that. To so get that cable bracket off, you're going to have to use a 12 millimeter socket and push the end of the cable out of the way and uh, take these two bolts off. Sometimes it helps to use power tools. It makes it go a lot quicker. Once you get the parking brake off the caliper, you're gonna move to the back side of this to remove the cable from the back side of the hub. So this is where the bolt for the bracket is, which is for your parking brake cable. And removal of that bracket can be tricky, so I recommend using a swivel-headed ratchet for this one. And that way you can get in there and bend the wrench a little bit, so uh, get a good angle on it. And again, this is another 12 millimeter bolt. So yeah, a lot of these are going to be 12 millimeter. Uh, a few 14 millimeters and some 10 millimeter. Okay. 
the next bracket to remove is towards the middle of the car. And again, this is a 12 millimeter bolt. And, you know, I would go slow because usually these are rusted and they can be quite brittle and you could snap the head off if you're not careful. If you know that it's going to come out, it feels like it's coming out, uh, power tools always makes it faster. There is one final bracket to remove, these 12 millimeter bolts, and this bracket is located directly in front of the gas tank. Um, as you can see, mine were quite rusty, but they did come out. I would take care of this bracket though, if, if you, for whatever reason, mess this up. It, it, it's hard to get the cable to stay in that location, because it's under a lot of tension going up and over that exhaust pipe. You should now be able to just pull the cable right out from the inside of the car. Uh, as long as you unhooked it from the parking brake handle, uh, from the adjustment lever up above, you should be able to pull right out. Next, just take the uh, parking brake cable and run it up over the exhaust, uh, just like so. I bought this Rebestos um, parking brake cable from uh, rockauto.com. It was relatively cheap. I think it was under $40. You can see that there is an obvious difference in quality. This is the factory cable and this is the new one. It's a much thicker, more heavy duty cable and it looks like it's sealed up a lot better. So I think this one will last quite a while. I would lay the old and new cables side by side and one at a time remove the bracket from the old cable and place it onto the new cable. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the parking brake cable had become seized up in the uh, bracket for uh, the caliper, the caliper bracket. Um, it almost looked fused in a way, uh, so there was no good way of getting the new cable into the bracket. And as you can tell, the new cable is quite thicker than the uh, old one. And I did check the part number, it is the right part number. So it looks like there's going to have to be some modifications made. And the first thing I did is cut the end off of the cable, the one that has the uh, eyelet on the end. And next I'm going to cut the cable away from the bracket, so it will leave us just the bracket to work with. What you're going to end up with is something that looks a little bit like this. Next we're going to take our cutting disc and we're going to cut as close to the, uh, the flat surface of the bracket as we can. Um, we want to flatten out that as, as best we can so that, because we're going to end up pressing that piece out, that uh, frozen piece of parking brake cable. So you just take the edge of your grinder, as so, and slowly grind off the excess. So I grind it off both sides, and now you can see there's a disc. I'm going to use my press to try to push that out. I'm just letting you know right now, um, this can be seriously dangerous what I'm doing here. Make sure you wear safety glasses. And when I did this, I was standing behind uh, two sheets of plywood. So if it broke off, it wouldn't, you know, impale me. Um, so yeah, uh, I have a socket there centered on the piece. Uh, I'm trying to push through just that piece of the parking brake cable that's seized. And as you can see here, I'm applying heat. 
uh, apply heat as I slowly, very slowly push that through. Um, the, heat, the heat helps expand the metal, which allows the uh, piece to pop right out. There's the uh, innard pressed out. We've got the clean hole ready for the new one. Now we're just missing C clip. Uh, once you've inserted a new C clip, it's time to get back underneath the car and put the new parking brake cable in place. Um, I usually start by routing it up over the exhaust because once it's, you know, once you get going and start, you know, bolting it down, it uh, tends to get very tight. Um, there's a lot of tension on that cable. And considering this cable is a little thicker than the original cable, uh, it just makes it that much more difficult to bend it uh, around corners and such. Uh, <clears throat> also, be careful of your camera. Make sure you don't tip that over. Um, I'm not wearing gloves in this. I probably would recommend it just because that heat shield is sharp or can be sharp and you, know, you don't want to cut your hands on that. And before you bolt down any brackets or secure the cable in any way, I'd also recommend that you uh, take the cable and feed it in through the bottom of the car, through the hole in the uh, center of the chassis there, up to the um, parking brake handle. Because uh, if you try to do this later, uh, like I said, it's going to be tight and difficult to do. And if possible, it's always good to get a helping hand, somebody to be up top uh, trying to grab that and pull it through for you because it can get caught on the carpet and on the bracket and it can be a pain to get it back into the hole. Alright, now it's time to pull that cable on through and line it up with the other cable. And then take the end of the cable and slide it right into the adjustment bracket there. Finally, we're going to put the bracket back on. Uh, we're going to slide it over the ends of the cable there. Insert the two uh, mounting bolts and secure using the method of your choice. Now I want to talk a little bit about the end of this cable here going into the chassis. The hole surrounding the uh, rubber boot, um, they got all rotted out. This is New England. We do have a lot of salt, and a lot of salt builds up around that rubber boot and causes it to rot out. Um, so I had quite a bit of trouble uh, getting that um, to seat properly. In fact, uh, the hole's so bad that uh, I couldn't actually get the boot to um, slide in um, all the way. <laughs> There's still gaps around it. Um, I didn't show it in this video, but what I did is I took some uh, RTV sealant, some black stuff, and um, just smeared, like caked it on around that to try to provide a watertight seal. And about, I don't know, uh, six to eight months later now, uh, it's still holding up just fine. Um, it's a weathertight seal, it works. Uh, there's not much you can do in this case if you have a, a rotted out hole like I have here. Next we're going to start attaching the cable to the car using the uh, mounting brackets. Uh, we're going to start with the bracket in the middle, that's to the uh, right of the exhaust. Once you have that center bracket in place, you can go ahead and install the other brackets. Installation of the new cable is about the same as removal. Um, I usually start closest to the caliper and then work my way back from there um, just because the cable does become tight especially going up around the hub. 
once you have your new cable uh, installed uh, it's time to set the parking brake and this will be according to the factory manual uh, we're gonna push the brake a few times um, set that so it's nice and tight next you're gonna wanna pull up on the parking brake so it clicks once and just once and then we're gonna move on to the adjustment in the rear and we're gonna tighten this up until the rear wheels have a slight drag on them this is gonna be a lot of trial and error we're gonna have to go back and forth uh, tightening this checking the wheel etc if your wheel happens to spin freely then you have to go back and readjust what you want is enough drag on it so that it's difficult to move by hand once you've achieved this slight drag you can take a pry bar uh, or something similar and apply the parking brake fully and try to rotate the wheel uh, put some stress on there and uh, if it doesn't move then you should be good to go make sure both sides are fully locked up when the parking brake is fully engaged depending on how worn the cables are one side might need a little more adjustment than the other this is due to stretching in the cables give the parking brake a few more good pulls just to ensure that it maintains a good tight grip on the rear uh, brake rotors and um, you should be good to go put your center console back together and the wheels back on and you're off and running uh, thanks for watching I hope you guys found this video uh, helpful and informative I'm going to try to do more videos uh, coming up. Um, and uh, yeah, just give me some feedback. Let me know if there's uh, anything you didn't like, anything you liked. Um, and hopefully I can apply that to the next one I make. Alright, thanks for watching.